This is Paul with Seller Labs, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about the uh, updated uh, buyer-seller messaging updates that have come through Amazon over the last couple days, and uh, just give you an overview of that, and then also some strategies and tactics on how you can be more effective with these new updates. So Amazon recently updated buyer-seller messaging. They basically allow uh, buyers to opt out of receiving third-party emails. They've actually allowed buyers to opt out of lots of different emails for a long time, and they just are now uh, kind of obeying uh, third-party emails and so um, it's not a huge deal we've noticed it's a, a small percentage of customers that have opted out but because of uh, their opt-out Amazon is basically bouncing these messages and sending a, a message to sellers looks like this and uh, so if you're getting these messages it's no big deal nothing to be alarmed about but if you don't want to get them anymore and you also um, don't want to waste your messages on them anymore. You can set up a filter and actually have these things filter and, and add these to your Feedback Genius blacklist. Um, so the way you do that is in Feedback Genius, we have a blacklist feature. You just go to, when you're logged in, just go click on your email address there and then go to the blacklist. And then you're going to click on the question mark and that's going to be your blacklist um, email. And so what happens is if you actually forward an email to this email address, then Feedback Genius will automatically take either the sub what the sender who it's coming from or the an order ID from this from this body of the text and add that to your blacklist. And so you want to go ahead and grab that blacklist email address and then you can come into your Gmail account and actually add that as a forwarding address. So you just click here and add it. Once you add it, I've already added this one, um, we're going to go ahead and get the verification code. If you're using Gmail, you have to verify uh, with a code. And so you'll get an email that looks like that looks like this from us with a verification code in there. And then you can go ahead and add that verification code to your uh, Gmail account and then that, that email will be verified and you'll be able to forward messages. After you've done that, you just need to go to filters in your um, Gmail account and this kind of principle works if you're using something else but you're going to create a new filter and we're actually going to grab the from email address here so it's going to be from Amazon dash communication and we'll go ahead and put that from address in there and then you can actually put a filter on containing some different language there just in case you're getting other uh, messages from Amazon we don't want them to just get forwarded out of there so I'm just gonna say buyer has opted out of unsolicited messages and I will go ahead and add that there and then I'm just going to create a filter with that search and then it's gonna ask me what I want to do with it and I want to forward it to my blacklist uh, feedback genius blacklist email create my filter and now I'm done and then whenever I get another one of these bounce messages from Amazon uh, Gmail will automatically filter that send it over to feedback genius and they'll get added to my blacklist and I won't be messaging them anymore the really cool thing is that since feedback genius is the largest Amazon third-party email provider uh, we have a ton of uh, data and a ton of customers and we're going to be able to aggregate all these customers that have opted out and build a really good global blacklist and make sure that uh, our customers are not emailing these people that have opted out on Amazon. So go ahead and set up your filters and we'll get all of these things aggregated and then you won't be messaging these guys anymore.